her response is, Koreans speak Korean, which means mm. that China, over the history, never gobbled up Korea. Korea, Koreans speak Korean. Okay, so last time we talked about the relationship between Japan and Korea, mm -hmm. but <laughs> the relationship between China and Korea is not great either. But it's because all the Chinese media and people are claiming all of our stuff. You know Hanbo, remember the super right. pretty yeah, traditional yeah. dress? Uh -huh. Or kimchi. Kimchi, not okay. And a lot Hands of those things kimchi. as theirs. And I'm like, you know how passionate I am to preach Korean food to all my American friends? Of course, friends? yeah. You know, kimchi and I mean all this food yeah. I can think of. But they're claiming all this Korean stuff as their own. So we came to our expert in yes. East Asia, right? So we're gonna learn from we're about today. Chinese yeah. versus Korea. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yunji and uh, Koreans today are all upset about China. Yeah. I think the Chinese are just saying this to provoke Korea. Mm. Uh, and it's not an official uh, sort of Chinese program. It's just that uh, Chinese are coming into the world. They've been oppressed by communism and in the back burner for a long time. And mm -hmm. now they've come out. They've, they're making money. They've got power and influence. And they, they're, they're just sort of stretching. And I... You know, I grew up in the Cold War yeah. when Mao was in charge of China. Uh, and in those days, if we could have seen, the thing we hoped for was a China like we have today, an open communist business China. Yeah. That's what we've got. So I right. think we should be grateful. But, here she goes, here she goes. <laughs> oh, you know how Russia is trying to take over Ukraine and if we don't stop it, He's gonna, Putin's gonna achieve his dream and China's gonna do the same thing, you know, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and guess what? After Hong Kong and Taiwan, Korea. Well, so there, we have to stop it now before they... There, there is that, there is that. But I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna argue the other side of the story yeah. just a little bit more. And that is, uh, when I hear Korean friends talk about the oppression from China these days, my favorite response is, Koreans speak Korean which means mm. that China, over the history, never gobbled up Korea. Korea, Koreans speak Korean. Korean language, any language, is the heart and soul of any culture. Mm. And if you speak Korean, you also eat Korean food, you wear Korean clothes, it's a whole cultural thing. And Koreans speak Korean, which means the Chinese never gobbled them up. But Koreans speak Korean, but Japan still did a lot. So that doesn't mean that, <laughs> yeah, that well, China hasn't done things in the past, right? Well, what there, is the history of that? Yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, the, the fact that the Japanese conquered Korea and made the Koreans speak Japanese. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. So hard to... Um, to eradicate Korea? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Eradicate Korean really? culture. Really? And the Koreans, Koreans had to take on Japanese names. What? Korean language was taught in universities as a foreign language in Korea. At the time. What? Because the main language is all Japanese. And I haven't okay. met a lot of people, but you've met lots of older people who speak Japanese fluently in yeah. Korean, right? Yeah, because what, of that. They grew up in the Japanese Okay, so you're right. But so China never is, did that. I China guess. never did that. Okay. And the point is, Koreans still speak Korean, right. even after the Japanese yeah. uh, oppression. So uh, let's go back and look at the whole Chinese history. Right. And that is, Korea got a lot of positive things out of China. Really? For example... Uh, yeah, at the time. <laughs> She's like, in the fine, days. fine. <laughs> Buddhism okay. came out of India through China into Korea. Is that the main religion of Korea? It used to be. Okay. And then Confucianism came in. Right. And Confucianism was pure Chinese. When I started studying uh, uh, Korean history, uh, all my teachers spoke very respectfully of China. Hmm. That China provided all of these sorts of things. And Korean literacy... Mm -hmm. was Chinese literacy mm -hmm. for nearly 2,000 years. Oh. And even after Hangul was invented, Hangul was invented in 1446, mm -hmm. so about 600 years ago. Yeah. Even after Hangul was invented, Koreans continued to use Chinese. Chung Guk, uh, Chung mm -hmm. means center, yeah. and Guk means country. Center, the country that's the center of the world. And that's the way China sees itself. Yeah. 
they're 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 not humble about it <laughs> traditionally. Yeah. They, I mean, they I don't know if we be, are either. They used but... to be center of the world. Yeah, but on our maps, we're the center of the world, so it all just <laughs> depends on where you're where you're based. That's right. So so China was largely respected by Korea over the years. Okay. Korea had its own independence. Koreans speak yeah. Korean, you know, it's, it's this theme song if I keep coming back to. But Koreans uh, were respectful of China in the old days. And then uh, in the modern era, China goes communist, right. right? And they end up on the other side of the Korean War. At that point, Korea was friendly with Taiwan. You mm. see, so there's a good China and the bad China. And now China has become uh, a capitalist and open and free market country, More but they still have the communist <laughs> yeah. party. Yeah, <laughs> figure this out. Here's a communist party and yeah. a free capitalist society. It's so interesting. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I I don't get so much upset about it. Uh, the Koreans, Yunji's all upset about uh, at the Olympics. They had all these different costumes, <laughs> yeah. and there's a there's a girl wearing a hanbok. Well, there are two million Koreans that live in China. Okay, and that's so one way to look at it. That's yeah. a representative true. of China's culture within China. I guess that's true. But the thing is, you know, we're talking about the war. Korea could have been one Korea. The war was almost over. And guess what? China came mm -hmm. in. And then that's why we ended up just dividing it into, you know, North and South. So if China yeah. didn't get in, we would have just had one Professor, Korea. Professor, what do you think <laughs> will happen if... China goes for Taiwan. Oh, oh. Like, oh, what do you think Korea, what side would they take? Oh, Korea that? would take Taiwan's side. So do you think I that would, would potentially be, would they, do you think that they would get involved in that war? I mean, this is all speculation, but. <laughs> oh, wow. Korea would probably be smart to stay out of it, but the Americans would get into it. No, if the Chinese tried to take Taiwan, it's World War Three. Do you think it's kind of a similar thing, though, that maybe China is a little bit jealous of all the attention that oh, yeah. korea is getting so that's yeah. why they're trying to claim some of these things it's like well yeah but we thought of it first here's the, here's the thing uh korea you know, you know you're, you're in the, your k-pop movies if you got, <laughs> you've gotten into the old one of uh uh, uh, uh gum do you know about Taejong gum the the jewel no, in the I palace don't, i don't think so you don't know about that one no. it, it's it's 10 15 years old okay it was one of the first big k-pop stories really to go overseas K-pop Korean drama. Korean, Korean drama. drama. Okay. Korean drama. Yeah, not K-pop. <laughs> <Yeah>. Korean drama. <laughs> and it's a drama about a woman, and it's based on a, a small little fact that they found in the history, mm -hmm. a woman who treated the king for his illness. Okay. And she was an herbalist. Oh. And, she start, and they made up a story. It's 52 episodes. Oh, my God. Based on this bit of a story. <laughs> So they start her off as a as a cook in the in, okay. the, in the kitchen, and then she learns herbs, it's and then she treats Okay, things. okay. Uh, so it was huge in Korea and huger in China. In China, really? It was big in China. Well, some K-pop groups are huge in China. What's happened is uh, there has been a surge of tourists that have come to Korea, really, to see the palace where oh. this cook worked and, and yeah. where the story took place and in the palace the uh, cooking section had not been reconstructed they just had the palace building and oh. not the not the living quarters yeah so the koreans rebuilt the cooking really? quarters and so, so cool. the chinese could come and see it yeah well it was wonderful and you had all these chinese tourists yeah. come and korea loves to have tourists come mm -hmm. but then they realized they were chinese Chinese tourists are the most obnoxious tourists in the world. They're worse than <laughs> Americans. Americans are terribly obnoxious are tourists. Yeah. Oh, we're off. Well, we're, we're loud. Awful. We're pretty we're loud. loud. Yeah. That's true. The, but Chinese the Chinese are louder. They don't understand personal space sometimes. Well, well, there's that. And and they don't understand noise. They're, they're loud. They're very loud. <laughs> and they take pictures of us. Like, I'll be in Europe and they take pictures of me. And I'm like, do I know you? <laughs> and then I don't know what they do with the, them. The Chinese take pictures. Yeah, of you. like like if we're all at the same site, yeah. they'll take a picture of me in front of the Eiffel Tower, and I'm like, yeah. is this for you though? Yeah. And then yeah. they keep it. Yeah. yeah. What do they do with that? I wonder. Oh, they they make. They, up... I mean, you know, for them, they're like, oh, cool, Westerner, you know, pretty Westerner. Westerner. <laughs> they, they, That's yeah. my girlfriend. You, you... So they didn't love having the Chinese as tourists. Yeah, and so that was sort of the. The, the the other side of the coin that things started to look a little bit sour from then and then okay. china i i don't think it's official chinese policy but it's chinese 
culturally sensitive, culturally arrogant Chinese are saying, well, kimchi is really ours. The hanbok really started in China. Look at these old pictures. It really looks like a hanbok, doesn't it? And it's just sort of nonsense. I, I, I don't mm -hmm. pay any attention to it. I think it's silly. It upsets, it upsets yes, I mean, Koreans, but I don't, I don't culture, pay much attention. You know? I mean, we came from a culture made up of other cultures. Yeah. So we don't have as much pride in like the yeah. things we built because we didn't really build anything. Yeah, yeah. But except for freedom. But <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for you guys, I understand why it would be really hard, especially because Korea's worked so hard to be where well, they're at and, now. And it's not just Yunji. I'm teasing Yunji about <laughs> it's it. It's basically but, just Yunji, actually. <laughs> But a lot of Korean, especially Korean young people, are really upset yeah. about the way China is acting. And, yeah. and China is really being obnoxious these days. There's no no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's the basic history. It's, it's interesting. 90% good. Yeah. And 10% bad. Okay. So. Yeah, so you used to be really good. You know, we used to be like, kind of, China used to be big brother to Korea, yeah, yeah. like hundreds of years ago. But then, you know, Korean War right. and stuff. So it's not that great, but... Because now you understand why I don't like China. <laughs> Interesting. I'm learning all of these things. But yeah. granted, Yunji still loves everyone. Everyone should know that. She told me that she will take me to Japan. But she's just not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, yeah. thank you so much for joining us for this conversation. Thank Professor. you. Thank yep. you. Good to see you. Are the best. Kamsahamnida. Kamsahamnida. See you next time. 안녕히 계세요.